Hi everyone and welcome to another Film Impact video tutorial. I'm Yaburov, I'm the founder and senior developer of Film Impact Premium Tools, here to show you the animation series. Now I have a uh, two, two guys sitting here on a beautiful purple background and I'm gonna show you, open up the um, <clears throat> FX browser and let's see how these animations will work on these objects. Just, just let, let me turn them on and off just so you can see the, the, the separate elements, right? So now I have the flip motion impacts, and there you go. When I apply it, this, this is default behavior. Let, let's give it a little bit more room to breathe. There you go. So what it does, it's doing a beautiful animation curve, and the curve is visible here. So this is the bounce curve. So it will just... So um, uh, we have different types here. Uh, do an overshoot would look like that. There you go. So it will just overshoot, right? Very dynamic and very adjustable, by the way. So so just, just crank up here the, the frequency and just play with that. Increase the um, amplitude uh, decay. So... So yeah, there, there you go. So you can you can create beautiful animations, and you don't need to go to After Effects for that. I mean, we have done the heavy lifting for you. These are not like 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 um, scripting language. You don't need anything. You just look at the curve, see if you're happy with that, play with it, and it performs real time. It it does a pretty good job there. And you just can, you you can just copy and paste it to the to the guy on the left, and there you see you got a beautiful animation there. But, you know, and just copy and paste. But but what if you just change the length here, and now, oh yeah, that that feels kind of dynamic, right? I mean, I mean, you you can do do more more difference there. So so there you you give it that that good nudge there, and um, and we might have overdone the frequency. Just change it to four. I think that that'll be more you know elegant for this particular animation but you know the thing is you know creating this animation entirely within premiere pro is awesome now another cool thing that you can see here is that we have beautiful uh, motion blur and motion blur is kind of when you see a fast car it this it goes by and you see nothing but blur but that emphasizes the speed it emphasizes the movement so it's very cool to add that and if you look at the quality and i'm going to turn on high quality playback for you so you can see that just, just increase the size here and look at that there are no motion blur steps visible here and that is because our motion blur engine uses up to 128 motion blur steps and you know try rendering that in after effects that will take forever yeah and uh, we've got a multi-angle tool see see how that motion blur just follows the movement in 3d i mean this is a 3d motion blur engine and it all performs real time it's so cool there you go. So again, this is the introduction of the animation series.